Two four three radio check for your lead. Oh, you're in quick, I haven't even started doing it yet. Yeah, I'm just trying to get him through the brief. Oh, they fixed the radios. Again. Oh shit, radios, I haven't put SRS on. You should imagine this should go really good for me as I'm connected to the server by one gigabit LAN. <laughs> should be a nice quick in upload or in or whatever you call it. Probably like everybody else out. Due to the unique way that DCS is programmed. Uh, SRS. <laughs> I think we'll be on home, won't we? Yeah. Toggle radio overlay. Alright, where are we starting from? The carriers or the uh, base? Sochi. Well, that's where I've spawned anyway. Means we don't have to fanny around getting knocked off the carrier because someone moves it or they get blown up. Uh, it's just a bit further to travel, isn't it? We can always go back to the carriers and rearm and refuel them. I thought it was a takeoff point. Ooh, I don't know about me landing on a carrier. I haven't managed it yet. <laughs> the last time I tried it, I was coming down perfectly, just about to make it, and my whole mains went off. <laughs> uh, Auntie, I have a question. Yeah. About this. Do you have a ping limit or something like that going on? Because I get kicked off and DCS crashes every time I try to. No, but your voice is breaking up terribly in here, to me. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, so... No ping limit. ping limit or anything like that? No, it's nothing like that one. Mm. But third time's a charm. But you're, yeah, you're still breaking up in, uh, in Discord, so... Is he gone? Signori and, um... Warren will be over a little bit. Okay. If he's breaking up in Discord, there's obviously something wrong with his connection, isn't there? Yeah, I, w I would think so. He's always, like, impossible to hear. I think he plays on Wi-Fi. That's his problem. He does. We, we we tried to sell him some power line kits, like, the other week. Oh, I remember that, yeah. He obviously hasn't taken, uh, taken us all up on that, that uh, fabulous information we gave him about that. Since I've had one, it's like night and day. Occasionally they lose each other, normally in the middle of an armor mission or something really important. But the, compared to Wi-Fi, the signal strength's amazing. And I don't have to have a Wi-Fi card on my motherboard or in my computer, so win-win. Mine's playing up, of course, we started. Yeah, I'm just glad I don't live next door to you, that's all. <laughs> well, they, they play havoc with ham radio. They are a lot better now, but the ones that come in from China, they just didn't care about radio frequency um, suppression, you see. So they they would just blanket the whole uh, the whole airwaves. There's been a lot of people in in this country have been uh, had them confiscated by Ofcom because they were yeah, causing interference saying. to people. You yeah, mentioned so that wildlife reserve or something where it went. Oh yeah, that, that was that was. I couldn't believe that. So to, that said to Tony Crease, I says you've got the biggest bloody army base. You know, Britain here, where like the Remi and the um, oh, what do you call them? The uh, the army's radio people. God, I can't, I can't signals. Those. signals, yeah. So you, you've got guys from the signals because I met some of them, uh, you know. And we all have a laugh and a joke about Bowman. Better off with Nokia uh, map and Nokia, as they call it. 
<laughs> That's really funny that. I could because I said this is oh, how's that new Bowman system uh, coming on for you? Because you know, they went from Klansman, which is really old 1960s technology, to this new Bowman that's all satellite integrated with data and you know, HF, VHF, UHF, all in one sort of package. And I says, how's that coming on for you then? How is it? It must be a you know a leap in technology. He says, oh Bowman. He says, yeah, we call it better off with Map and Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the British Army all over. Yeah, there's a crack of that, but uh, yeah, they, they. I said, you know, you've got all these people here. Why didn't you ask them, you know, about wh what sort of system you needed? I said, because they would have put you right. You know, they they know what frequencies you're allowed to use. But yeah, that that was great. Having knock on Ofcom knock on the door and say it's taken us weeks to track you down. I don't know how it took them weeks. They must have been kicking out such a broad spectrum of frequencies to block the satellite. Uh, Downloads, but uh, yeah, the the like the the agricultural satellite data was uh, was being blanketed out by them. So the, the good thing about uh, the radio hands is uh, the Home Secretary said, you know, after that Katrina happened in America. And and the governor of Louisiana came on the TV, and was livid because FEMA was sat on uh, the freeway waiting to come in with ambulances and supplies and all that lot. And they said, "Oh, but we can't get in yet because of the flood waters." And he says, "Well, how come the, I've got out to do this television interview, and the camera crews from all the television companies are in there? If they can get in there, why can't you get in there?" And he went he went mad, you know. And they're saying, "Well, you know." Mm, uh, and he says, "All I can think to say at the most moment is thank God for ham radio, because every ham radio operator in the area was just running off any car battery they could get their hands on, and keeping communications open across the the whole of the state, you know. Um, and then FEMA came into that big stadium, that big baseball or or football stadium they have there, where everybody had turned up for help and assistance. And FEMA came in and said, right, where can we plug all our gear in? And he says, what do you mean? They said, well, we you know we've got all this." gear we need to to plug in and he says the the whole the whole county is under like two three feet of water and you want to plug into the mains outlet and they said yeah we need power for all our equipment and he says good luck with that then you know like the wanted telephones and and power and everything's underwater it's like ridiculous <laughs> so fema what's it that fema is the federal emergency management something or other isn't it that they send into disaster yeah. areas, and and yeah. they were all reliant on um, electricity. They didn't have their own generators or anything like that. They they just thought they would go into a disaster area and be able to plug into a wall socket. So the the guy said, uh, one of the guys in charge of the football stadium got a bunch of guys together. And he says, right, I want you to go to Walmart and I want you to get all this equipment. Gave them a list of stuff. So they went down there, nicked Cisco routers, uh, laptops, and other stuff that was still there that hadn't been looted. He brought them all back with a generator and got theirs up and going and linked it all into a ham radio system so people could send uh, data from the ham radios and stuff from across the county uh, and they did their own and that, that's what that's what the governor was referring to thank thank god for ham radio you know so in this country uh the home secretary said and he sent a message out to all the councils because we have terrible time trying to put aerials up you know with planning permission and shit like that saying oh it doesn't look good in the area well everybody complained about satellite dishes but nearly everybody's got one now um, and nobody bats their eyelid at a satellite dish on a house anymore when the first came in they were new and ugly but now because the, everybody's got them you know so Home Secretary sent a letter out to all the, all the local councils saying um, you must have a very very good reason to stop a ham radio enthusiast putting up an aerial and being unsightly isn't one of them um, because he didn't want the same thing to happen in this country as happened down in, uh, in uh, with uh, Katrina you see so uh, but my my housing officer says I need permission to put an aerial up and I just can't be bothered to ask so I use the clothesline just, <laughs> uh, well, it's, a, it's a steel cord co clothesline so I just put a crocodile clip on it and put the coax up to that and a ground spike and I use that and I'm sure that's going to cause some crap because it's not an ideal radiator so it'll be causing some harmonics but they're low enough to be under what I'm allowed but I'm next to the hospital you see so I've got to be very wary that I might because I don't, I don't want to oh, be causing 
I don't want to be causing anybody hooked up to an ECGI machine to start acting like a Thunderbirds puppet. <laughs> if you've ever been hooked up to one of them, you get 12 electrodes put around your body. <laughs> Just imagine if I, I broadcast and it interfered with an ECG machine, it would make it would turn them into one of those TENS machines and it would give them muscle spasms and be off the bed and walking like a Thunderbird puppet. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, that's my thought. It wouldn't happen, obviously, but... <laughs> oh, uh, shit, that's noisy. Alright. God, I hope this is recorded. I really do. No dog today. Uh, apologies to everybody, but um, I'm having to use my laptop as the server, and if I was to stream it would have to be very low power, very low output. Um, so, actually I would love to stream, but uh, I can't. Uh, let's just get this baby started up then. Uh, actually, when I go through this and put that down, uh, reset my that, put the flappy things on, put all the systems on first. I mean, that's got to go all the way up. Are you hearing any chatter on 243? Uh, I, I, no. I did it first. I, I uh, we would normally be on burn here, sorry, but we can't do formation with burn. Uh, this, is, but this is the quickest way to do a ferry to get on task well, as quickly as possible. Two four three, since I'm connected. Uh, I'm jump in hammer flight and see if 243 is there. You've got to wait till your battery and everything lights up. Yeah, I heard you. So we'll give it a few seconds. And then you start your yeah, impression. Yeah, it's all good. Warning, warning. Did that wrong. Switch back off. Uh, flick the switch. I'm going to mute myself on here. Now flick the switch forward. Yeah. No beep. Alright, let's get into Discord and...
bloody fuel pumps on, stupid idiot. The amount of JP5 I'm burning just sat here. At least we're actually going to do something with it though. Well, yeah, that's it. Get to fly today. Yeehaw! Harry is off the leash. Crash and burn, baby. I've got 189 for luck, or not luck, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, I didn't bother. If I, <coughs> if I see anyone, I'm just running. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Land fast. So I switch my bat out down to bat radi radar, yeah? What's that? On your, underneath the USC, I switch where it says Barrow down to Radar. Or yeah. Down to altitude. Sochi Tower, Sonic on finals, heading 09. Oh, I've only just woke up, well, an hour ago now. An hour, ago, an hour and a half. Feels like I've still only just woken up though. God, I tell you. I'm naked. Absolutely naked. Where's, where's the boys? Oh shit, where's that? Where's that? Oh, we're up here, aren't we? Uh, oh, Gumbo's up there. Turn right, turn left, okay. Oh, I've got parking on. How's the new graphics card? That's pretty cool. I really am. I haven't actually noticed that much difference yet. But um, I tend to run with V-Sync on anyway. My monitor only has 60 hertz. So it kind of caps out with that. But, um, yeah. So far, so good. I hope. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I, I put mine on high settings and uh, with my monitor, once you've taken off, it go up to 60, 70, and then, you know, when you're over water a bit, it goes up to 100 on. Cool. Yeah, I, I put, yeah, I, I did put high settings on, turned SIF traffic off, and it's actually, yeah, it's a lot better than, my 1060 just didn't work. Like, I'd be at like 30 frames over cities and stuff, so. It's definitely better. Sun and Gus has vacated the runway. 243, Radio Shanky, this is tail. Radio 5x5. Roger that, tail is requesting tossing. Do anybody need support? We've got it pretty well sewn up with the F-15, so you can be a lone shark just uh, bouncing between Guadardus and uh, Sukumi quite low. Just watch out for Sam's. Roger that, copy. Oh, too far. Is that picture clear at the minute? Oh, yes, yeah, picture clear. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Traffic taking up from runway 06. I don't want to pester them too much if they're concentrating on capping. Well, I imagine they're yeah. fine. I've only just woken up. Oh, there it goes. They're just about to head over to the fleet, which appears to be trying to crash into itself at the moment. So I'm glad we didn't try and spoil that. I buy those new ones on box. It's 20 quid. Yeah, that's good. It was a nuisance, those things. I see a contrail heading out over to the south. So, uh, yeah, that cap, Signore and Tender are in like a, I don't know, one mile spread, three mile. Okay, eight mile spread, heading east, southeast. Over the sea. And there goes tail. Search traffic hammers three and four, taking active for departure of runway zero six. Oh, two four. Yeah. Do we want to get up and be ready to go in? Yeah, I think so. We're, we're, if we get up and sort of hang back, uh, 
This side of Gadata may be in to see if we can hmm. be protected by the fleet, we should be alright. But Bushra actually is going to be Hey, I've got a job for you. Roger that. We've changed the name. We've got a new uh, SAM system called a Patriot near Gadata. It's incredibly valuable to us, and I think they're going to probably try and bomb it with flankers. Can you um, make it your mission at least for the time being to defend the hell out of her? Okay, Roger that. Oh, that's good If they us. attack it, it will be from the mountains, from, which are very, very close, so it will come down that big ravine. Okay, Roger, can you mark your location? Let's go do some to me. Come on, let's go bomb it. I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. <laughs> Big Lee taking active three ship. Tail is visual on the, uh, 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 on the valley and on the Patriot system. I will do patrols through the valley. Also check the valley to the east of that. Roger that. Oh, he's going down center line, is he? Alright, okay. I don't mind that. Ah, oh, where are you going? Fuck's sake. Ugh. Oh, can't get this fuse with this steering. Do you know this is Hammer. Take off in front of us. What sort of takeoff we're doing? That's it. What sort of takeoff we're doing? Uh, punch it. I'm gonna do a conventional one. Okay, conventional. How come they rocket in ahead of me? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I don't like doing conventional takeoffs. And I'm so used to muscle memory and putting my gear up, I put it back down. Turning left. I'm so used to doing rolling short takeoffs. That was a complete not a cock up. I'm one and two, lining with departure runway two four touch. Magnified in my right one, is it? All flights, we are receiving reports of hostile activity in the canyons. Be advised. Right, let's stay out over the sea then. Turning red. The enemies are quite close to Sochi, so be advised, Harriers. Haley shot down. Roger. Be 
You know, like 12, 16 of these damn things. Now. 
F-15s are all showboating, mate. You're, you're not going to... Yeah, they're Uh, 
Hammer 3 and 4 are holding over our fleet, so when these guys are clear, we'll get in from there. That is a we'll clear it out for you, we'll let you know. Hammer 4 copies. That's right. That's right. That's 295. Alright, it should be 100 degrees, so I'm heading in that direction straight for Sukumi. Roger that, I've got an S on my nose. I'm a bit low at the minute. I'm dropping down below 100 feet. This is tense. Hold it up. 50 feet. I've got 520 knots. 525. Oh, fucking hell, he's got how much knots? Dog it. From about there, I forget what to, to there is 116 degrees. So Atomic's way in ahead of me. Shite. 90% throttle. Jesus. Flaps up. Flaps. Do you pop up right. and lose your sidearms, or do you just move them from 40 feet above the wave? No, I pop on. up, I do a good 30, 40 CC degree pop IP up and uh, release them at about 2,000 feet. We're going for Take DSL, straight away. sight line. We have wind off the port beam. Soldier traffic 1 on F15 on long final for runway 33. As soon as I intercept that... Uh, to wait for a missile lock before uh, you fire. Yeah, get lock, pull up, fire, go cold. 2-9, bearing ooh, 10 o'clock off my nose. 116, as soon as I hit that line, 116. It's a 120 degree runway, so... Roger, same. He seems to be something climbing. Any time now, any time now. Come on, lock you fucker. Missiles. Maybe I should go in with side arms first. Looking. Right. Control heading to the right. Right. Head, 116 degrees. Yeah, it's just past this burning stuff, going low again. Almost got a lot. I've got my uh, ECM on. Another run, or are you going back, or...? 
right down the runway. Oh, I want to see it. I want to see it. Looking for SA-11. A quick look at F-10. Yeah. Uh, no, with with what fuel you, you have, start climbing now. You should have started climbing with the Angels. Right. Roger. That's climbing, so let's have a look. Magnum, turning cold. Turning back to our airspeed at no. 20 feet off the ground. <laughs> you are. Strike package, turn around. We have bandits heading right for your location. Viewer flight is egressing towards Sochi at max maximum speed, speed on the deck. Yeah. Let's get uh, no 90. Mafia 38. Good data, get re we are refueled. We could, but we'd be open to being shot at by something else. I'm going too quick now. I want Nails to clear. repeat. Turn it down. <laughs> I think so. I want to rinse and repeat. Where's that gumbo? I said my nails are clear and I'm right. sort of right up here. All cap is currently inactive. Cool, I've only got one pile. Me and Warren got a refuel. Tender, can you refuel at Goudada or no? Our tactics work then. What do you mean? Roger. Yeah, we practiced, we did it. Yeah, I've got an SA 11 and 14 uh, and 12 uh, snake eyes right down the center line of the runway. I want to see that. I want to go and spectator and have a look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Atomic uh, got a radar, I've got two other radars, so that's uh, four plus the runway. Pretty successful, huh? I think so. 
Uh, we did our own thing this time, okay. and yeah, I'm a happy bunny. Yeah, I mate, that was awesome. I'm, I'm like those guys on Deadliest Catch that actually catch something. That, you know, when they're not catching something, they're grumpy as shit, and when they catch something, they've got a big smile. <laughs> I am. Godata doesn't have any fuel, does it? Still inactive, the runway's technically broken. Yeah, that's why I landed on a taxi. Okay, I won't take off then. On the taxi. I see a dot ahead, not sure who that is. There he is. 300. Could be Senor, he's, he's inbound. Roger. Yeah, I'm inbound on the smaller runway at um, Sochi. Avon Buick flight is en route to Sochi. I'm going to refuel and head back out if need be, but. Well, I don't know if anyone else will be up. Carriers are closer, aren't they? Mind you saying that, we have got some protection if we fly Warren, do you still have your plane? That was wonderful. Yeah, I'm going for Sochi. I'm, I'm, I think the carriers are going to be troublesome. Say again. Roger, refuel and rearm. Better. Tell, haven't you died twice already? Yes, I have. How to? Ooh. You don't get another go. You can die oh. before 10 o'clock and that's it. Okay, okay roger that. Oh, oh yeah, breathe then, you have 10 o'clock. I've got two nine, two nine spikes on our 6 o'clock. Buick lead, two nine spikes times two on our 6. Bearing 120. Yeah, I've seen. He's not spiking yet. Almost home. Coming off the gas. Yeah, Roger. Uh, no, it's all good, thank you. Right, I'm popping up and sliding down for landing. Buick lead Sochi traffic, or the other way around even, three shipper Harriers inbound for runway uh, the opposite of 24. Why has that not got runway numbers on it?
degrees of that. I'm on the left running long. feel like I'm uh, like that. what we're going to go for Hello, now. Um, well, I think anti-armor, personally. Uh, should turn our radars off if you haven't, Warren. I think... Uh, yeah, mine was on too. Request refueling. Alright, let's cut the chat. Request Copy. rearming. Alright, and break on. Copy. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. That was ever so, ever so, ever so cool. Oh, that was practiced work. Can't believe we burned so much fuel doing that. That was cool. Yeah, it gets rid of the fuel, but my god, that was good fun. Yeah, I was down 2,900 pounds. I ended up having to trim it so that it was always nose down, and then I had to just keep eking the stick up to keep me low enough. Otherwise, if I left it where it was like trimmed out, it would slowly climb. That's quite terrifying. I just put your automatic flight control on it, it'll keep you at that altitude. I don't like it. It scares me. So, uh, <laughs> flick AFC and then the one next to it that says Alt Hold and it will hold you at whatever altitude you set to. Yeah, I just don't trust that I won't do something stupid when I turn it off. <laughs> if you move 
your stick, it turns off. Yeah, that's what I mean by like, we'll do a jerky motion and end up ripping my wings off or driving into the sea or something stupid. Uh, well, in that case, switch them off and then use your use your uh, your stick. But um, also, if if you're like dropping GBUs, if you put it in AFC and you drop your GBU, it will immediately trim your aircraft back out without you having to. CCIP use depressed sightline instead because it's uh, it's a manual mode, but because of the wind you can offset it on the runway. Yeah, I was thinking of the buildings and stuff that's there, but I mean, what are we going? What's left? I don't know. We could, could really do with a satellite image or a drone or something, couldn't we? Yeah, ideally. I'm not sure if there's any radars left, so. Why am I getting that static? I had that yesterday. We are static yesterday when I had the radio switch. Well, I'm taking two just in case, and then I'm going to take something else to get on the taxiway or get on the buildings or something like that. I think. Well, you could you could do the the snake eye run uh, down the infrastructure line, uh, if you know what I mean. Well, Across the top of the buildings and stuff. Yeah, I'm on, yeah. We're still mounting a counter attack, right? We are. Okay. All right. Oh, oh my God. Look at where the Viggen spawned. That's frightening. That was fucking close, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at where he spawned! That's amazing, man. Alright, I'm gonna get out of the way. I'm just gonna get the fuck out of the way. No, you idiots. <laughs> he spawned there, isn't that amazing? Look at that. <laughs> hey, man, it looks like you have some damage to your nose, so you might wanna... Yeah, new one once they've moved. I gotta move first on the right because I don't think he can clear my fuel tank. Damn, I got two A10s out there, un un unsupported by a cap. No, no, you two are gonna have to move. Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. Where's all the cap? They killed there early on purpose, or? Of course it was. <laughs> that seems that would be crazy. Jesus, we're yeah, no, that was, oh. um, we were planning on respawning at Makeop, but um, there wasn't any. Why would you respawn upon at Makeop? Did our Patriot battery uh, come down from story. up there? Because now it's left as Anyway, uh, P-Man, your, your radome's damaged for some reason. Yeah, yeah we're repairing two, two or respawn, I'll respawn two, two, just in case. Just in case. Do not, do not move or do anything or even repair because Frank's I have to get out of the way kill for us. No. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not gonna move, don't worry. They, they moved our Patriot. Warren, no, no, no. repair as well. Uh, That's just a in big case. gap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sit out here away from the spawn points. I was about to tell you about that, actually. Like, in fact, um, as soon as I'll pee, go to spectators. You know what I said, Signore? We need to be getting up. Yeah, you, see, you like predicted there, so what happened. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, yeah, I was like, you know what would really suck? If we get a big enough the yeah. ass. <laughs> Where's that going? How, how far has that been? Can we go and get Sakumi? You got Sakumi Airbase, did you? 
Let's have, a, let's have a quick let's have a quick find out how far away they were fired. I think he fired that and where is it? It's down here now. Sixteen miles. Uh, yeah, I think she got the runway. Sixteen Sweet. miles. So if we go bomb the taxiways and the Oh and bit, somebody else got it first. Wow. Yeah, sounds good. Sixteen miles and I've been telling I've been telling them no, yeah, they can't go more than nine. Just seen one of the A-10s fire a, a Maverick's gone 16 miles. Well, better than ours. Uh, are you guys all armed up and ready to roll? Yeah, they're up at 16,000 uh, feet. I can't repair now. here. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, we need to cap out first, don't we? Yeah, and tender's just left. Sorry, your engine's off. I'm going to taxi up to 2-4. Uh, oh, hang on, where's all the shit was here? Be a flight taxiing short of runway 2-4. I'm already at 2-4. Where the hell's are you two? Sakumi. It's actually Babushra, isn't it? Babushara. Babushara. It's not called Sakumi, it's called Babushara. Yes, let's use it by its proper name. Right, where's that? Bit of of wondering what the hell happened. I, I was finding that, I was trying to find Sochi Adler the other day and it's called Babushara. Vody's runway it hasn't been used since 2009. It's been out of commission since then. All right. Yeah, I was trying to find its I IACO uh, number or, or call sign so that I could put it into my uh, nav system and it wouldn't come up. So when I went searching Google, uh, it, 2009, it was out, it was decommissioned. So he fired from there. It's not the same with Katazi, I think on Google Earth it looks a bit done for. He's going to about there, I would say. Let's have a F6. Yeah, oh there, oh yeah. Okay, I'm just going to hold short up here. Oh, those A10s are really taking some uh, some knocking to them, them defences. We took down the radars, they taking down the SAMs. Well, that when we hit the radars that control those cub sites or whatever they are. Yeah, that's what we. That's what sidearms do. Sidearms take out the radar dish. Uh, I didn't know if it was those radar dishes for that sound site. You can't have your mission for any success. Very good. They've almost taken down the S3, SA3. Well, I, well, I took Excellent. down the SA11. Um, I saw it come up on the screen. It says uh, static with sidearm killed SA11 site. So. Yeah, I hit an SA-11 something. STR? And I, and I actually watched my... Radar. Yeah, I actually watched my sidearm go into it. It blew the whole vehicle to pieces. It didn't just take out the dish. Nice. Yeah, the SA-11... Yeah, the SA-11 has two radars. And I've taken out two of the other smaller ones, so that was four in total, I think. We, we did some good bloody damage tonight. It just shows you what the Harriers can do if we're left to our own devices. And our tactics. Yeah. And also we have learned how to use them properly. Hey, see, Bloodknock thinks tactics are those little white mints you get in a box. Vigan's <laughs> really hard. Yeah, I was trying to learn the Viggin today and I just got a yawn fest and gave up. Oh, the Viggin's good, but once you pull that, once you press your, 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 your trigger release, it drops all of its high drags at once, which is not good. 
Yeah, it's just run in and drop go, isn't it? Yeah, which is a damn shame. Yeah. I mean, it's simple enough to army weapons and stuff, but... What are you two doing up there? <gasps> I must have down the end. Went the wrong way. Sochi traffic, Buick lead. Uh, Buick flight holding short, runway 24. Put an extra fuel in and put one sidearm on then. Uh, that was the one I made sidearm. Which is that one. So click OK. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. I'm not very good with Mavericks. I'm likely to get myself shot down. And I didn't realise you could turn high drags into low drags. Wow, the A10s have used all of their ordnance. There's a, there's a high drag bomb. When you're on high drag bombs, apparently, somewhere. Uh, which doesn't wow. Work. Apparently. Okay, I'm going to fly ready for takeoff. Actually, got one and two. Yeah, we're waiting. Say rearming complete, go on. Right, Anvil Flight, here are your instructions. I want you to take off and proceed to the carrier, and you're essentially going to be doing chainsaw cap in and out, pointing inland. Make sure that you uh, can keep that whole area, the whole of the coastline, uh, free of enemy cap. Just to clarify that, just to clarify, so from the fleet towards Sukumi or to the fleet to the nearest bit of land. You need to be pointing uh, towards the Kumi Air Base and slightly towards the SA-10 side. Uh, to fill you in what the Vigan's about to do, we're going for a slightly death or glory run along said coastline at low level. Um, and as long as you can keep the area generally free of enemy cap, then we'll be okay. Are you going for the SA-10, bud? Roger, and we'll yeah, argue. You. I think you better tell them we've already and taken the runway the out. And we will cover you over Sukumi. Give them a briefing of what we're taking out. But if you Three SA-11s and whatever else. Don't be afraid to retreat back to either the fleet or the Patriot site. You just gotta sling Am Amrans at them and get out. We've survived this long. We got it. <laughs> yeah, you've done well so far. Just 21's just took off. Actually, 33's even just took off. Uh, Anvil, are you currently on the runway about to take off? Uh, you better give them a situation report, because if they're about to go and bomb the runway, we've already done it. Buick lead to all call sound. Buick flight did a runway attack on Sukumi Air Base um, earlier. We're going to go in and finish it off. And look for any SAMs that need a good pounding while we're there as well. Hold currently, wait until the cap's in the air. Roger, just doing a sit rep. Don't forget the SA-11s. That's the levels, come on. I'm not sure other ones. If you don't blow your own trumpet, nobody's going to do it for you. Social traffic, hammer three. <laughs> Inbound slam when we're two, four, entering <laughs> downwind. Uh, yeah, don't take our credit. It's alright, we'll do it in the debris. Yeah, but it's useless Roger. if they're going to go and try to do what we've already done. That's, that's the point I'm trying to get. Yeah, go on, you, you go and get yourself shut down so we can go and do other things. Just to take runway 20, not 24, so you guys can line up right now if you want. Harriers, just pull forward a bit. Oh, we will right. line up. Negative, we've got eight ends on the way down, I think. Alright, roger that, roger that. Wait, 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 are they, are they back already? Tanks topped up. Uh, the oh, A10 is going to do a go around, so um, if you want to get airborne, now's the time. Where's that? How am I? Buick flight taking the active. Alright, Anvil is launching. Very excited to have it. Okay.
hours worth of sleep. Ugh. Streaming computers give me a cine bench marking of 1222, which is incredible. Uh, my game machine gives me 1500. Well, that's all disconnected. Oh, bugger. Well, we could always go back and wait for him. Yeah, do you want it? Why not? We're better off as a flight than we are just as a pair. Yeah, let's turn to check it. Oh, I'm going to turn back towards Sochi. I'm on your tail. Not banking that pretty uh -huh. tight. I would have gone left, not right, but never mind. I'm going to drop my ordnance. I'm not. <laughs> you landed. Yeah, I might as well come in on runway 06. It, nobody uses it. Well, I suppose those F-15s just took off using it, didn't they? Yeah. Social traffic, hammer 4, turning on base late runway 24. Maybe we should tell them that we're returning to base. Holy crap, you nearly hit me with those. Oh, sorry. All flights, Buick, uh, we've lost one man, so we're heading back to the airfield uh, and uh, we'll pick him up and uh, take off again. Blood Anvil flight is almost in position. Landing gear, landing gear. Flaps all the way down. Is it something or other? Session traffic hammer 4 off finals, runway 24. 61. Shit. Come on, 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 come on. Uh I should go around. I'm doing this far too hurried. Far too yuckiness. However, I am at a good glide slope. Coming in low and slow is how I should be doing it. A bit more thrust to give me a bit more lift. I just don't want to smash into the ground. So come on, which is hat, get up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
one, that's it, that's what I wanted. That's it, that's it, just enough. Just enough. Holy crap, I'm fully laden and I'm coming in for a fantastic, fantastic landing. Brakes on. Engine in reverse. In fact, I can reverse a lot on this engine. I still feel like I'm, I'm a bit damaged. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go and um, just check myself over. What's the cabin like? I managed to DC. Get back in, it's on it. down, just gonna go and, uh, I still feel like I'm slightly, uh, holy shit. There's a vegan nut calling out, he's not doing so traffic, hammer three and four, clear active. Who was that then? Let's do a so quick traffic, clear. hammer two, downwind, right in three, two, runway two, four. That was blood knock. Would you believe that? Blood knock. Well done, blood knock. Didn't call out. Gumbo called out that we were landing. Blood knock didn't. At least I didn't hear him. He might have done, but I didn't hear him. Now, I think you get stuck on here, you know. In fact, I'm pretty sure you get stuck on here, so I'm going to uh, just kick this round and put the uh, nose wheel steering into carrier mode to get me around and then take it back out of carrier mode. I'm just going to line up and I'm going to do a repair because I am not confident that that this little beastie here Look, there's a fucking P-man coming in and hasn't hooked up. Well, I've been there, boys. I got, um, DC'd because my internet shit. Yeah, we landed back in, so we can't bring it to the Whatever. Request rearming. Request repair. Copy. No, no, uh, just repair this. Ah, oh, no, this is interesting. I can't get repaired. Ah, looks like you can't get repaired here. Request repair. Copy. Refueling complete. You're not going to open your bloody canopy in this, have you? Request repair. Copy. Maybe my engine's off. Request repair. Copy. Well, I don't look damaged. I just feel damaged. Oh, uh, have a continuing air attack plan. Which is odd. Rearming complete. Request repair. Unless I'm really not Copy. damaged. Have a match. Which is uh, quite probably I'm not damaged. Perfect moment for my internet to drop out like that. Oh, it's typical, isn't it? I'm probably not damaged. That's probably why it won't repair. Hey, if you're not damaged, will it not repair you? Fair thing, sir. Maybe I'm not damaged. I just feel damaged. I, I, I look like I'm slightly lopsided, but I don't know. Is your engine off? Yeah, I switched my engine off. I even opened the canopy and switched the electrics off. But you don't normally have to do that with a Harrier. You just flick that switch on the side of your throttle and your engine spools down. You can rearm, uh, repair. 
maybe it's maybe I'm not damaged. I just feel I just feel like from the first time I took off, I'm slightly damaged. But looking outside, the model's perfect. No bust tires or anything. It's just one of those feelings, you know. Who is that? Just refueling, rearming. Atomic's wearing riddle skin. Our flight Lonnie for departure runway 24. Oh, he's got bombs. Yeah, we called in that we were landing, right? We landed, and then as, as I'm turning down runway 24, Blood Knot comes in to land just over my bloody head, hadn't even called it in. And then P-Man lands just after after him, just as I've exited the runway without calling it in, I know. Terrible, man. Shocking. Both of you, consider yourself severely bollocked. Dropping <laughs> holding over their heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the problem with wearing all these bright skins, right, you know, with all the flashy colours on, is they can easily see you in a dogfight compared with if you're wearing proper camouflage. No, yeah. That's why I don't wear the Union Jack. <laughs> or the Jack. Yeah, I'm a flying target. Indeed, poos you are. This skin's got camo on. Yeah, yours has got camo on. A touch of red on the tail and a, and a big Grim Reaper's target on your wing. Yeah, perfect. Right, my refueling is complete. It's just rearming now. Uzi, three, three, request takeoff. I'm wondering if they're going to call it off in a minute. I don't even know what, what the runway frequency is here. 127. They just died. Udo also escaped Jackie just ate shit. Oh, is that only UHF now? Right, oh, I'm done. I'm just taxiing to runway now. Somebody said Radio 2 was fixed, but... I'm not sure. I, I didn't think it was. So two coming in up the end there. That's one two seven. We'll leave that on there. Uh, Tender got coffee. We'll do that again, shall we? Uh, possibly the overfly the runway. I haven't heard anything on global though. Sushi, Boozy, three three. Request. Oh no, they're flying away. Soon find. Right, now's our time. We need to run straight in and go boom boom. I think. No, I've had no reply. Yeah. Okay, if you two go and then I'll uh, catch up behind you. Roger that, spooling up Sushi. and rolling. Uzi, three, three, request takeoff. Uzi, three, three, Sochi, you are cleared for takeoff when ready. Climb three, zero, zero at QFE two, nine, point, eight, two. Yeah, looking good, guys. Normally you see those two chevrons at the top of the screen. Normally you would stick your witch's hat on them. But I think they want to stay low. Don't know where he is though. Where is he? We're going in along the coast. Oh, I'm putting my bloody gear. Landing gear. Roger. Landing gear. Roger. Oh, there he goes. I haven't got enough speed to do really, really stupid banks, so I'm just going to have to gently come round. Anvil, lead to blood. Go ahead. Um, are, you, are you sending any ground pounders in at the moment? If not, um, we'd like to retire the F-15s or refuel them. Yeah, we're coming. Are you out of fuel already? Well, no, we are uh, about half on fuel now. But we have been yeah. in the area for a little bit. Your flight is just about to come in. 
Okay, that's fine. We can hold the area for a while still, so don't worry. Uh, the area at the moment is clear, but we haven't checked the valleys, so oh, use I caution. Oh, I don't feel... No, I've still got my fucking gear that. down! Why did my gear go back the down? Land, the old landing area straight in its Akumi. Oh, God, yeah, look at my gear is shagged now. The ground around the coast. Yeah, yeah it was it's hot at the moment. Reported no Already out of spells. Ah, oh, the pain in the ass that was. Ah, oh, shit. I'm taking it down. Put my gear down. Put my gear up. Yeah, I'm at 70 feet. Ah, uh, where are you going on, Jeremy? Going down? Sam? Ah, it's a friendly. Why are you Four. at 70 feet? Go on. No, I'm just making sure. No, because I got a uh, hospital contact there a while back. I've got 500 knots. Where's that fish now? What's your throttle like to do 500 knots? 89%. No, they went to 960. Bloody hell, Wells. Yeah, I'm on the right of someone here. Yep, that's me. Roger. I'm just behind you both. <laughs> Watch out for the hills in front of you. I think I'll stick at about 400 feet. Oh, I'm going down that low, that's the easy. The is 115. I'm going to adjust onto it now. Alright, uh, air to ground. Uh, Mavericks, we've got to warm the Mavericks. Yeah, one one really we're going to go and strike the S300 site. Well, we're going to give it a go anyway. Just be aware, I'm a little slower than you, so I've got, I'm quite heavy. Roger, bringing it down. Yeah, I've got 510 knots. About 530, but decreasing. Roger. Holy crap, see? Told you. I'm at 300 bloody feet and they're at... I, I can't. Why am I so fucking heavy? Why am I so... I've got flaps in cruise. 915, I'm not... I got a barrel ahead of me because I can't. Uh, two's in trail. Keep up. Where the hell are they? Oh, I'll leave that that size. Off to my left side. Uh, Down. 
You're a bit further ahead than me anyway. Roger. I punched her up to nearly 100%. Flipping egg. Roger, I've got 80. Gentlemen, I'm at 10,000 feet above your head. Roger, any nails? Not a thing yet. Turn right slightly to 118. Roger, tally. Going in for my run now. Roger. the bloody airfield. Uh, that's definitely not... Uh, can I zoom out on this? Well, I look at the bomb craters on that runway. Here we've got aerial footage. Alright, I'm cold over the water, running uh, 1500 fuel. Roger, make it back. Yeah, I'm going for the carrier group. Well, I've just got some lovely video footage. Oh, I've got Spike. Spike of what? This oh yeah, I've won some flight at the moment, we can't provide the cap that far into the mountains. Yeah, I'm hit. Just keep them occupied. Chap by the hold of them at the two degrees long range, you see something. Charlie missiles. Sam. Yeah, SA-10 for the south. Okay. Is that a friendly hit? Where is it? I'm going down. Good footage of that. Uh, now, quick, quick look around from where I died. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a shame. I couldn't get a look around where I died. Ah. Uh. That's a that's a damn shame. I'm gonna stop. What? My engine's winding down. I'm fucking. Why oh, you got 
got hit as well. Says Red AI killed Red AI. Oh, that's nice. Like that one. Yeah. I got killed by Manpad. Yep. I was worried about the uh, the tent. Oh, there's blood. Uh, there's blood and P man heading down way south. Oh my goodness. They must be after the SA ten site. Uh, good luck to them. Well, I, th I think my laptop's holding up to this mission, don't you? Well, blood not. Yeah. Well, blood not got killed by a tungster. Alright, statistics that I have on my laptop for running this game is 25% CPU, 4.5 gig of memory, and 16% GPU. Alright, that'll do, guys. Everyone's dead. RTB, let's, let's go quick. Just go good, order, guys. Just go good, order. I'm going to Lou. Jumbo, make a sexy landing on the Taraba. Yeah, give me a go. I've got a thousand fuel left. stream at the same time you sometimes get some lag but well, what do you reckon to that then? Okay. What? One of the traffic why my long pile from the GP Ooh, I've got to reset that. Hang on. Alright, here we go. Uh, oxygen Dup da da dup da Dup da da dup da Dup da da dup da Ba da ba da da Ba da ba da da Ba da da ba da 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 Sorry Are we all gonna go back to Discord, Cap? Yeah, just taking the boys in Roger that Oh, don't know what that one yet 
It hasn't finished, has it? I'm a landing on tower. Right, now if I switch all them lot on, DMT on, switch on the, um, oh, that's what was wrong, I haven't got the DMT switched on, have I? Welcome back, Dumbo, you're the last surviving uh, Harrier. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Copy, good job. Uh, turn that up right now, then if I flick that one, hang on, I've got to flick this switch, haven't I? Put that back down there. Now fix that, it shouldn't go beep. Warning, it does go warning. beep, okay. Well, I'm doing something. Oh, because it's Master Arms on. I think that's why it beeped. Right, fuel. Don't tell me everybody's disconnected. Disconnected. Morning on short final runway three three one. Tail disconnected, gumbo disconnected, tender, took screenshots, tail took screenshots. How many bloody screenshots has tail taken? I should take screenshots of the I'll rewind and take screenshots. I'll replay this video and take a screenshot. Welcome back boys. Okay, uh, back to uh, debris. Uh. Back to debrief. Maybe, I wouldn't know. They're still doing 30 knots anyway, so if we had been on them, we would have been all over it. Been off the bat. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, leave the debrief on. Yeah, well. once they get going, I, I have no way to, to put a stop. I had like, I have very few ways to put a stop to them. They just go into the crash into each other mode. Yeah, basically. Is it because they're too close, little... too close together? This is why I hope why uh, not Copy using... gives me some more land uh, units to use at Lucas. Suddenly, with ships, isn't all that great. Right. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Right, uh, it's getting late and I've got a lot to do, so let's just blast through a debrief. Stand by, I'm just going to set the video recorder up. Getting late. Man pads are scary. Yeah, no shit. Sure. The moral of the story. Hello, welcome back. So, there's an awfully long, complicated mission, so let's try and find out what happened. First of all, Hammer Phase 1, Figgins! Right, so we took off to go bomb the target, and then about 20 miles into our flight, we got jumped by two flankers. So promptly chuck the bombs away, stage 3, disappear into mountains, go back to Sochi. That was fine. We then land, we try and work out a different plan. Um, in the meantime, other stuff's going on, we'll talk about that in a moment. We eventually come up with another plan, which is just to gun very fast along the along the coast, uh, towards the SA-10 site. And when we were there, we got hit by SAMs, and if we hadn't, then we would have been killed by four flankers that were flanking us from two different directions, so... Yeah. Something blew up right in front of my face. <laughs> I was just um, I was aiming at. Yeah, that, that would have been the, the two of us as we got man padded. <laughs> oh, it was man pads, was it? I thought it was S300s. Oh, right. uh, no, no, we got S300s. So okay, 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 that was either my AMRAM or a tree. Because... All right, guys, that's fine. Um, unless there's anything more from the big ones, can we have hammer phase two? Uh, yeah, so we uh, took off. Uh, I think we ended up in the middle of a fight at some point. Uh, on the way to the hold, um, then orbited, waited for a gap, and then went in and got uh, all our Mavericks off at the uh, SA6 slash three site. Lovely. And then RTB then landed. Well done, guys. Yeah, I mean, I've watched it obviously because I died early. Excellent job. You killed that SA3 site or whatever it was, like 80% of it. Excellent work. And you waited until the Reds were going off, whatever, refueling or whatever they were doing. So it was a perfect slot. And they almost caught you on the way back. About two miles more, and they would have shot you down. So that was really good timing. So well done, uh, well done, A tens. I guess you guys are probably the men of the day because you did your job without dying. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, forgive me, I forget. Oh, Harriers. Um, uh, what did you guys get up to? We came in really low again over the sea against Sukumi and side on a load of the SA eleven radars um, around Sukumi, and then 
we turned back because the cap needed fuel, I think. And then we came back with a load of bombs and bombed the runway. And Static also bombed the runway the first time around at Sukumi just to make sure it's extra dead. Mordra, good job. I mean, it's a really hard job that is, especially up close because those man pads and stuff are crazy. Okay, uh, rare tail. Oh yeah, I got scared to uh, uh, to death when I met two flankers suddenly in a valley. <laughs> so, uh, so so yeah, I was probably just a meat there, and then later I got two more flankers. Yeah, yeah, stalking me. Oh, well, it was good. Well, you were stalking us first. He was. He was chasing you guys for like fifty miles. Couldn't catch yeah. you. All right, well done, tail. Um, what was my anvil? Uh, cat fucked up. So we we discussed and we knew that the flankers were going to be coming through the mountains oh. and popping out and, and making trapdoor spider attack. We didn't realize how effective were they going to be. I said, let's keep just 10 miles away from the mountain out to sea and we'll be fine. And I was just traveling 10 miles away from the mountain and they just pop out a supersonic, launch a couple of ETs out. You've got to be 20, 30 miles out to be safe. So I went down. Signori was very unlucky to go down. Um, just the last bit of a missile caught him, but he died essentially the same that. way. So pop out guy just just bombed out a Mac 1.1 and just just blasted you with missiles. So I think that was coffee. Oh, just there's something got to be really careful about. That's there's something they're going to keep doing. Anyway, that's us. Anyone else? That, that was was that all of blue? I think it was, wasn't it? My red's still in. Uh, uh, that's Sonic. I think he's gone. He has gone, so we won't get that. I don't think he did anything. Uh, reds, anything you got done, achieved? Or whatever. There's still yeah, the bloody, lots of uh... blues being shot down. How, how many reds oh. were shot down out of interest? Two. Two, so, I think. The very... I just, no, you, you got all four of us at one time. Oh. oh. I'm so, not sure if I died there to the missile. I just oh yeah, because off, yeah. I shot, I think, a Tail. 10 mile Amram at one of you, and I think it killed you, but it didn't I show I killed up. one of them, and then uh, Tail, I think, killed one too. Uh, all I fired an things. Amram on Scape, but I don't, I highly doubt it hit because he was cold at the time. Mm, I saw two yeah, kills, unless... two kills blue on red. I yeah, fired. Unless, unless Scape turned in, that Amram had no way of hitting him. Because, well, because I got, I didn't get shot down by one of you, I got shot down by Sam. Oh, that's, that's probably why. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that. I saw you flaring down low. Yeah, I, like, I remember. I that. think yeah, I yeah. hit Uterosa. It was two guys. I fired three Amrams yeah. at them when we I killed one. You remember that? Yeah, Senor, that was you and... Yeah. Yeah. So I, I also got chasing. someone with a Sidewinder, I think. No, you also Roger. missed. Roger. Okay, so I know we... I know we got our ass kicked, but the, apart from me, the, F, the F-15s did really, really well. You'll see on the movie, everything they were doing was perfect. I mean, just unlucky that one of them got shot down. But Well, you say we got our ass kicked, but it was, you know, the, we gave Reds a decent run for their money yeah, in terms of air-to-air -air kill. Um, ha we didn't lose any Harrys, did we? Two at the end. Until the end. I got, in the end, we lost Sam. I got a man pad in the face because I was... I didn't turn... I turned cold. Left, Why were you low enough to be hit by man pads? Because I was on the deck. I was 40 feet off the ground. Yeah, but why were you 40 feet off the ground? Because there was other Sam. You, there's other Sams. Uh, Trust me, the first time it worked perfectly, but I think I must have been a bit too high or a bit too close to the man pad. Yeah, we do a uh, so 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 suicide in. We almost all suicided in because we knew Merlin was uh, around the target, and since he's a dirty traitor, we almost I sh all. Uh, I should have done it, man. I should have done it. That we would have got alone. him. You just put Merlin out there as bait, and we will all just go for him to shoot him down. So I'm pretty sure they were alone at the time too. The calf was they all were, refueling. Um, Skate oh. was like, Skate was like, I'll just land in a field somewhere. It'll be fine. <laughs> you should. Uh... Yeah, I kill him so bad. You should see how close Coffee actually came to shoot me down because there was an ET he sent out and after an F-15 bounce just in front of the 15, so not. it was close. Uh, how did you survive? <laughs> you just yeah, got out of there somehow. Uh, 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 just a question regarding my last run. Did I hit any flanker because I made a snap? No, no, like... it went uh, left of my cockpit. Oh, mm -hmm. damn. Lulz. Almost. Also, uh, how do I get yeah. a picture? Of uh, if you guys way. want to check my stream, you, you can see how Redfall uses uh, like wingman pairs to maintain constant mutual support. That saved uh, Wolf Shadow, I think, twice. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I was doing that with Signori, but I just turned in a little bit too late, and then 
like a fraction of the second I killed you after he got shot. It was just the timing is just a little late, oh, it's but it's okay. Where, oh, in the, uh, at the time we saw Merlin and all, we were like, ah, we're gonna hook from the mountains and we're gonna right, push we'll you guys into a corner because we're uh, attacking you from both sides. Both sides, and I didn't see you copy till like 15 miles, it was just... Yeah, I got ETs then. out and started <laughs> hammering ERs, the air, but, but then you started defending and... God, fuck it, damn it. One of the missiles went like five meters. <laughs> yeah, I just watched that you, because I, I believe you were merged with like two of us at one point. I don't know who I was merged with. Yeah, yeah. it was Warren and uh, someone. Probably Tinder, because yeah. I think Tignori got shut down by you. Yeah, well, Tinder then got him after that. It, like we were saying, what? it was just a little too late. Yeah, Tinder shot him down. Was right it Tinder's? Oh, I fired like two Amrams in coffee. I was closer. Two ammo, the two uh, sidewinders. And... Yeah, I just watched a tag view. I, I think I, I ripped my wing off. I didn't actually get killed. <laughs> everybody, everybody did a pretty good job. Like, all, all things Can I too. make one point? In that we seem to have a lot of people who were speaking on the 243 who weren't flight yeah. leads. And that was seriously cluttering the comms. So, but, if you're not a flight lead, don't speak. If you need to say something, think, pass it to your flight lead. But Mavericks, I think yet. we also need a dedicated ATC. Um, frequency as well because we don't want like you know uh final call outs on unicom do we yeah we do i'm gonna head off guys can i have those two files please auntie get to work yeah i'll close the server all right i'll catch you guys want to just set up like a, later atc frequency for now we could use that three zero fm that everybody has p man you had uh, just, or just set up as a two five one or something like that that was Reds today, Soch I think. Sochi or the, whichever airfield should have its own ATC, uh, ATC um... frequency. So as long as you just tune to that and everyone else does, you're safe. Uh, I mean, just, I, I would say, I mean, I don't fly on blue, but just have more yeah. calm discipline. And then, like, so make less calls. So you don't need to make every single call, oh, like taxi, and you know, all that. Yeah. Uh, you just make a call when you're, like, on final. Make a call when you're in the break. Make a call when you're rolling, and then the rest of it, you just want, look out yourself and see if there's anyone around you. you should call it. No, of course, but I mean, I'd say it would be a good idea to have separate ATC frequency because last thing you want when you're merging. You I would say you would. Say, oh, I'm to you're going to have more cases of people forgetting to switch and then talking on the wrong frequency, and then Cap's going to complain uh, it's okay. not wrong. The correct yeah, frequency. Yeah, that, that is the the yeah. problem. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. You should, you know. It's it's going to be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If this was red, it would be a fantastic idea. Thing is, red. I, I believe you guys just use Discord. Yes, I think they are using Discord. Aren't you Wolf Shadow? Yeah, but there's only four of them, so they don't need multiple comnets. Um, I just got a DCS F18 early access guide. From what? From somebody from another server. They just gave me a copy. <laughs> Like in an email? Oh, on a Discord private message. No, oh I'm, I'm not gonna share it. No, why are you telling us? <laughs> I'm gonna be you guys. I'm gonna be reading that. <laughs> I'm reporting you. Bets on virus. Just, just, read, just read that out loud to us. Okay, okay, I am gonna head off story. 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 I will see so, you uh, later. Bedtime story. Have a good one. Ooh, it's got a really. Uh, hold on. Let me just got post. good pictures, Sander. You just post okay. a post the uh like the. The, the title or whatever, cover pay. Okay, tender yeah, warning. I'll, I'll you, you have a P man E D agent here. <laughs> nah. Dude, look at that freaking nice. gnarly uh, throttle. What throttle? It's like a BKV one or something. It has like KBC. Crazy shit. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, VK, but a VKB only man. makes stuff modeled out of the Russian aircraft, though. Well, mm -hmm. this throttle doesn't look very Russian. It's it's not like the side throttle. It looks like it's it looks kind of could be though. I don't know. It has a lot of uh, shit, including a Russian. landing gear lever. It's Russian. It's Russian. Oh, it's Russian. What's that like? Look, what's that looking like? Uh, a flanker. The flanker one is. Yeah, the, the, the stick is not as in the throttle is not mounted right. alongside, right, but right. It, it's shaped the same way. It's making me yeah. the same thing. Uh, right. Tender, you have choked 
uh, open uh, open media chat you will get so much spam now from people like send me the <laughs> how do i get that <laughs> why why do yeah exactly that makes no sense cuz i know this guy from another server and he just gave it to me <laughs> Did he say forward, forward, forward it to all your friends? Did he say that? You should. You should just post that shit in media. No, he said don't share it. <laughs> oh, what a dickhead! <laughs> How many pages is that? 150 fewer for a beauty. <laughs> fewer. The reason fjord. why is because... He said... Um, I know this guy who is a Hornet beta tester, but I, P Man wouldn't give that. I don't think. Yeah, P Man. He's in here. <laughs> That's fine. Look, well, looks like well, when the uh, Hornet comes out, we're gonna have to do a group study on that thing. Well, you guys Oops, can do your sessions. <laughs> You're like, I'll already 30th. know it. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll already know. <laughs> you can teach me then, cause. I'm not gonna know oh, Senor, do you want to copy? Tell yeah, you yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <What>? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Tail, you almost got me in the canyon, but I had a lot of fears, so. Well, I mean, ah. kind of. I mean, you were taking Ooh, a, can... you were taking an aim yeah. man shot head to head, which I mean, it probably wouldn't have hit anyway, but. Yes. Oh, Auntie, know. can you uh, yeah. post a tax view? You got balls though, Tail. That, that poor yeah, little F.I. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I'm still quite happy with my kill to death ratio in that F5 against flankers anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Gumba, do you realize you got shot by a, an, a man pad on the second run in? Did I? Runway, yeah. Well, on my tactic, you did. 